Yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Now, today we had a very interesting developer uh, Q&A, basically, Ask Me Anything session. The Korean developers, by the way, this is for Throne and Liberty. The uh, developers over at NCSoft, they held a um, uh, live, it was live over on their YouTube channel. Obviously, it was in full Korean, but the uh, the legend who is called the Welps, he's a fellow uh, Throne Liberty content creator. He went ahead, he went ahead and translated the the whole session for everybody. And um, somebody in my guild, they very kindly formatted it as well. They tidied it up and formatted it. Um, so apologies for the flashbang. Um, I can't change it to dark mode or anything like that. Um, I was going to go ahead and format it myself, but they've saved me a job, so. <laughs> why not just use what they've done for me so yeah that's perfect um so yeah i'm gonna put Welps's uh twitch channel in the description down below so if you don't know who he is already you should do by now but if you don't um follow him over on twitch he's a legend he always um translates translates for us because he speaks korean fluent korean so yeah that's nice nice to have him there but yeah anyway you might be wondering to yourself, but this is the Korean roadmap. Why Why am I covering it? Why am I bringing it to the channel? Well, the reason why I'm bringing it to the channel is, um, one, it's very exciting what, what, they, what they've got coming up. And two, because everything that we're seeing here will follow, its, will follow us to the global version. So the only thing is we don't know the exact time scale. So for example, there's some stuff that I'll read to you in a minute that's coming in October that that's for the Korean version. We won't see this, um, for example. We might see the Halloween event because that's a, that's just an event. But um, the, the other stuff we're not going to see because that's like tier two stuff and beyond. But there is some other stuff coming after that that we could possibly see um, at the same time or maybe a week or two after because there's no real reason why they, they can't, you know, put it to, put it to us at the same time as it is in Korea. But nevertheless, we are also waiting for the Amazon uh, Games Studios. They're going to be giving us a global roadmap. So it's going to be very exciting. I'm going to cover that and we'll be able to actually see, judge on this one and judge on that one, if there's any overlap. So yeah. But anyway, let's get into this one. Um, so content schedule for October. Uh, in Korea, we're going to be getting the artifact introduction. So introduction of new artifacts, which is going to include four talisman stones, two gemstones, each with active or passive skills. They're going to be farmable in the abyss dungeons, which is going to enhance your character's abilities with set bonuses. So that's really interesting. We really knew about artifacts. They actually got delayed. Artifacts was initially meant to come uh, when we got to Landre. Um, but they said because of the runes and the, the you know the large expansion, they didn't want to then also add artifacts to the mix as well. It would just be too much for everybody to uh, to wrap their heads around. So this is nothing new. But now we have a date, or a rough date. So October next month, we're going to be getting that in the Korean version. There's a new arc boss coming called Giant Brock, a new challenging boss providing unique loot for players. So this will definitely not be in the global version. Um, there's going to be a Halloween event, so obviously that is what it is. New skins, um, stuff like that. There's going to be in, in uh, Talandre, there's going to be Rifts and Boonstones. So uh, again, we're not going to be getting that in our version, but it's, it's still it's still good to see. Um, then this is this is the interesting bit as well. Nebula Island debut. This is a new 24/7 PVP zone with inter-server battles featuring a mix of conflict and peace areas. So 80% is conflict, 20% is peace. Now, this is inter-server. So this is actually an island. It's going to be in its own... Um, uh, it's got nothing to do with your server. So you're going to be teleported. Uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? It's going to be in its own instance. So it's instance-based. So there's going to be server A, and then server B can also join it, and maybe server C, for example. So all three, all three of our servers can come there and we can roam around the area and you can basically battle it out. But there is a caveat to this. Um, I believe Welp said it does use Abyss. It's going to use Abyss tokens. So it's an, uh, there's, a, there's a limit to it. So although it's a 24-7 PvP zone, it's still technically time-gated. So we'll have to see 
how that you know pans out and how it plays out because bear in mind whatever happens here if they don't bring it to us at the same time there's still time and chance for them to to edit it change it and you know move stuff around so yeah anyway nevertheless then in november this is huge guys we knew about this as well but we didn't we didn't know when it was coming we're getting war game now this is basically battlegrounds they said that they want they want to bring this to the to the game so that solo players who you know, you want to, you, you just want to queue up for some PvP. You don't want to have to go with your guild. Maybe you're not even in a guild. Maybe you're in a small guild. Whatever the reason is, you can just literally hop on. Um, this is for large scale battles. So there's 48 versus 48. There's 24 versus 24. And there's going to be 12 versus 12. So this is, this is going to be great fun. Um, it's going to have custom lobbies and also league systems as well. This is it's just crazy. Um, there's going to be a new season for the challenge dungeons so there's going to be new levels and challenges for players they're going to be introducing a guardian leveling system now i did a video showcasing some of the new guardians in the game but now we're actually going to have a system to level the guardians so i like the fact that they're the guardians are very unique as it is but the fact that we're now going to be able to take that one step further and actually level those guardians um, and by the way that's going to be done through in-game content no pay to win or anything like that um they're actually going to be reworking the mastery system so they're making comprehensive adjustments to the mastery system to balance roles and gameplay i'm i'm not sure how that's going to look in game obviously but that's interesting that they're doing that so soon as well um then in december it's the one year anniversary event so celebrations with special in-game activities and rewards now i wonder if because obviously this is the one year anniversary event for the korean launch so i wonder if even though it's not one year for global i wonder if we're still going to get that because it's, it's such a big event you know it's the one year anniversary um it would be nice for us to get that because it says also we're going to be getting the new weapon likely updates and enhancements also to existing weapons now they didn't say spear but they've mentioned the spear before and everything else we know about is always mentioned spear um <clears throat> so i wonder why they never actually said spear in today's stream but either way whatever we're getting a new weapon in december hopefully we get that over on our version as well then we're going to have enhanced honor and mastery systems so further development of the mastery and honor systems to refine player progression and skills so again interesting we're gonna have to find out wait and see what that is all about then we're getting a new arena map which is huge already then fishing codex and secret cooking recipes hyper boost event planning so basically they're planning to do another hyper boost server over in korea uh, at the in, in december because in january as you can see here there's they're basically adding a 12 man raid and also a one man dungeon continuation and introduction of new challenges in both group and solo settings this is huge guys very 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 good news then this is the next uh, insane like all of this stuff guys is coming so fast as well inter server sieges and seasonal events so new scale pvp events and themed activities then we have content details and balances they're going to be introducing chaos runes which is enhanced runes with high stats compatible with any rune slot um so that's going to be interesting to see so more power basically and then they talk they did touch upon weapon balance details and the chat was going crazy about greatsword nerf greatsword <laughs> but they said this for uh, sword and shield endurance versus dps the balance adjustment will focus on the mastery rework, allowing players to choose specializations towards either being a tank or DPS roles more efficiently. So basically what they said was, TLDR is, the sword and shield is fine, like they want them to be so tanky, but they understand that the damage that the tanks are dealing is not acceptable, which is 100% correct. They need to sort out this uh, being tanky and so much damage. Now, the balancing meta is 
They're aiming to address the DPS issues to ensure that this, the Sword and Shield can be viable in both roles without overpowering one. So basically, they want them to be tanky and do you need them to do some damage, but not, not to the degree that they're doing right now. Now, Bow, I'm a Staff Bow main. Um, Bow is going to be getting a nerf. It, 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 to be fair, it's needed. Tornado and Flash Wave. These abilities are considered too strong. Adjustments are going to be made to the heavy attack power and evasion capabilities when using the artifact. So what they were basically saying is that the artifact, there's going to, they're now adding um, heavy attack evasion into the game and you get that via the artifacts. So the barrier modif modifications may include adding a cooldown because currently right now there is no cooldown which is obviously ridiculous and they're going to adjust the shield value to balance its defensive capabilities deadly marker currently there's no plans to change its functionality but its damage relative to crowd control effects is under review right now they said it's working as intem did they're, they're pretty happy with it um like being able to be stacked basically so for now they're not going to touch it um so we'll see now great sword stun and control effects the charge and ice spear bind attacks are too strong the plan is to convert these into fury attacks which will be blockable adding a layer of skill in countering these moves and the developer kind of said that great sword is fine um and all it needs is to basically these things need to be changed into fury attacks so that you have a chance to block it now the the chat did not like that in the in uh, whelps was saying that a lot of these people in the chat the koreans by the way were saying that nerf nerf the great sword this is ridiculous um, so yeah that's quite funny so balance in small versus large scale the great sword works very well in small scale but it falls off in larger scale and pve the goal is to maintain its viability across all gameplay aspects. They're saying that the heavy attack is the major problem. So to address the, the problem of one-shot combos, new countermeasures will be introduced likely through the artifacts. Again, that's touching upon the uh, heavy attack evasion that they're going to add through artifacts. Um, so they're basically saying that heavy attack is the problem, not, not anything else. So we, we will see. We shall see. Now, crossbow. It's going to get a PvP buff. Plans are in place to enhance the crossbow's effectiveness in PvP scenarios, which is, you know, in PvP, it does fall off at endgame. PvE now, despite the previous nerf, the crossbow still remains the highest, yes, you, you read that correctly, the highest DPS weapon in PvE. It will retain this status, but with balanced mechanics. So, yeah, it is what it is. Now, Wand, it's the, the focus will be on ensuring that healers can stay alive, um, which might include adjusting the healing output to prevent overpowering in PvP scenarios. Basically, overall, they're happy with the wand. They want healers to be able to obviously survive. Um, they do understand that the healer's output to other, you know, to party members, and sometimes it can be a little bit too strong, but for now, they're just gonna keep an eye on it and see how it goes. Now, staff, the ice spear bind is gonna be changed. We, I've touched upon this earlier. It's going to be changed to a fury attack um, which requires players to obviously block or counter to increase the skill cap so they are happy they're li they literally said they're happy with the ice spear they're happy with staff but they're going to make that a fury attack so people actually can you know you can block it you have a chance to block it the staff is considered to be in a good spot with no significant changes planned except for that one adjustment so yeah is what it is so my staff i'm happy with that staff is not getting too much of a change bow is getting a change but it's granted um and that's that's me speaking as a staff bow main um so that's fair enough now the last little bits here miscellaneous updates guild content enhancements improved content for guilds strategic alliances and possible anonymity uh for opposing guild names so what they were saying was there's a four guild alliance right so in the siege guild a b c and d are allied in the guild and they're they're playing with the possibility of making every other guild's name not visible so which is funny because i actually mentioned this oh, ages ago i mentioned this in one of my videos when we were talking about the zerg versus zerg 
I said about hiding other guilds names. I said that in one of my videos a long time ago. Um, so it's interesting to see that they actually might, they might actually be doing that. So I think, I think that's pretty cool because what's happening is obviously people from the four guild alliances, people from outside of that, there's nothing to stop you saying, okay, guild E team up with us. We're not going to kill you in siege. We'll see you in siege. We're going to leave you alone. Yes. There's a chance that you can do some friendly fire, but if, if, if everyone's name is hidden, that you can't do that because you don't know who the heck is who, right? So we shall see. Um, rune management and resource allocations. They're talking about improving the quality of life. And they may also um, they may also be adding rune bags, but they're not sure about that. And as you can see here, there is event coupons. They always do this. This is only for the Korean version. So make sure if you're playing over in Korea, you can use these coupons here. I'll pin those in, I'll pin this in the comment section down below to make it easier for you guys and girls. Then infinity dungeon enhancements and targeting system improvements. There's plans to improve the dungeon rewards and also improve the targeting because the targeting system it's pretty bad. It doesn't, it, half the time it will target something over there and then um, you'll be right next to an enemy and it won't target them. So that has caused a lot of issues in, in PVP and stuff. So it's good to see that they know about that and they're, you know, looking to improve that. Um, there was a few other little bits and bobs that got mentioned. I'm just trying to remember. Um, they were thinking of doing something else. It's not, it's not here um, unless I've, unless I've missed it. I don't think I have missed it. Um, oh no, I did. I did talk about the one man dungeon and stuff like that. Yeah, I did. So yeah. So basically guys, it's a big W patch. Um, I'm very, very interested, like I said, to see where does this leave global? Like how many weeks after are some of these things going to come at the exact same time apart from obviously the Talandre and the the, the the tier two stuff won't come at the same time because that's not possible right but other stuff can like these um the the weapon balancing that can come at the same time um also the new weapon could, could come at the same time the inter server um pvp zone could in theory come at the same time so things like that can can you know sort of work together but we'll have to wait and see i'm waiting for the amazon game studios roadmap like i said um so yeah stay tuned for that i will cover that on the channel and yeah that's good that's going to be it for today plenty more videos coming from me like share and subscribe and i'll see you soon take care peace